Hello again guys, and uh, we're going to be continuing with this scene that we've been working on, um, covering various different aspects of modeling and rendering here in Blender. Um, so this is a good project really to work on textures and rendering because we have lots of different um, materials and textures and surfaces that we want to make. So um, right, let's crack on with it. What we're going to do is give our beer a head. So the head of the beer is the foam that sits on the top of it. And that's what we want to model and texture now. So um, here in object mode, um, I'm just going to go back into solid. And I'm going to hide the glass object. I'm going to select our liquid object and tab into edit mode. Um, incidentally, if you haven't modeled this scene, you can actually download it in the link at the bottom of this video. Um, if you have your own glass and your own liquid, then you can follow along with this. So this is how we're going to model the foam on the top of our beer. So we'll select the center face, shift and alt, and we're going to go out and grab all of these other faces around there. So once we have those, we'll go shift and D to duplicate, P to separate by selection, and then we have another liquid object here, which we're going to change to be called foam. That's our foamy surface. So we'll select that. Now you'll see it's a separate object. I'm going to hide our um, liquid just for now. And our foam object. Mm, I think I missed a ring of faces there. Hold on. Let me go back. It's just. Uh, delete this object, go back to our liquid. I think I missed some faces. Select here, shift and alt, and let's make sure we've got them all. Okay, I think that's it. Shift and D, P, separate by selection, change this to be called foam, and we can hide our liquid. There. Okay, so now we have this tab into edit mode, select all, extrude, and we're going to extrude up. Now I want our foam um, to have a little bit of height to it. Different beers will have different amounts of foam. I want about this much. It's up to you how much foam you want on your particular beer that you're modeling or liquid um, that you're doing. Um, now once we've done that, I want to scale on the um, Z axis minus one, and that will flip the top here. So we now have this curve on both sides there. Now, the other thing I want to do is remove the whoops, I'm out of edit mode. We'll remove our liquid texture, and we also want to remove the edge, edge split modifier. Now, there's our foam. I'm not looking very foamy though, right now. It looks too smooth, it looks almost like a piece of plastic floating on top of our beer there. So um, we want to create some uneven surface. So we'll tab over into edit mode again. We're going to turn on our proportional editing and we're going to go to random. And you'll see that now when we move that, it's creating a random surface, but it's doing it on the bottom there. Um, probably because we need to go to Recalculate on normals. Nope. All uh, right. What we'll do instead then is select all of the bottom faces. So we'll grab these down here. Shift Alt. One, two, three, four, and five. There. All right. So now we've got those. When we move that, you'll see it has an effect on our top surface there. So we want our top surface to be a little bit uneven, as if it is some foam. Come back out now into object mode there. And there, so it's looking a bit foamy-like, but we've got this funny thing going on in the middle. So what I'm going to do is go into sculpt mode, get our smooth brush, and it's going to smooth that a little bit in the middle there. It's not vital because you're not going to see that anyway from the angle that we're doing our render. It's from the front there, so you see more of this this edge. Um, there we go. 
Now here in edit mode, you can always grab vertices and move them around a little bit if you want. I'm just going to leave that as it is. It's looking okay. Uh, right, so now we'll put our glass back in and we'll put our liquid back in. Now, you can see our foam is sticking outside of the glass because when we scaled up and our glass is curving inwards. So, we can do edit mode here. Select that top ring there. We'll hit S to scale. I'm just going to scale that in until it is sitting inside our glass. So you shouldn't be able to see any of the edges there. So here I'm just going to move in a little bit. Oh, sorry, I need to turn off that uh, proportional editing. Hold on. Yeah, make sure proportional editing is now turned off. And then we'll scale it in until all of those disappear inside. Okay. Now we'll go to our camera view and render. Let's see what this looks like. So what's gonna be missing is now just the texture for our foam. Other than that, it's starting to look quite good. So, let's grab A foam object. I'm going to add a new diffuse to it. Let's open up our node editor. Nah, get rid of this. Okay, so we have our diffuse and we're going to add in something called a volume. Nope. Subsurf, subsurface scattering. So we'll add that in. Then we're going to add a mix shader. We're going to connect the mix shader like so. So that will mix our two shaders together. I'm going to reduce the scale of this. Maybe. 0 0.010 and our color I'm going to drag back a little off white otherwise the foam will be too bright We'll also turn down the well brightness a little bit because when these are combined, it's going to combine the brightness of both. You don't need to be too white. So we'll make those slightly gray, like that. Now let's. Uh, Render, see how that looks. Okay, so our foam maybe now is a little bit too gray. So, increase this. And this. Just wait for that to render. There's our foam, still looking a little bit too grey. So 
So I'm going to brighten it up a bit. Maybe up the scale slightly also. See how this looks. Right, it's starting to get there. Beginning to look okay here. Um, I'm gonna actually make these brighter. They're still a little too gray for my liking. And um, I can close up our node editor. I'm going to grab our foam object. Whoa, it's into solid. I'm going to hide our glass. Now the foam needs to sit a little lower. Obviously, it should be sitting, not hovering, it should be sitting on our liquid there. Got glass back in. Going to edit mode for our foam. Make sure it's still touching the glass all the way around and not protruding out. like so okay now we'll go back into rendered view my foam should look a little better now now it's sitting actually on top of our liquid there we have our beer with some foam on top so we're still missing bubbles and things like that but um, you can see things are starting to come along and um, it's really starting to look like a, a beer glass now uh, with, with our liquid inside it. So I hope that you've been finding these tutorials useful on how to use the shaders and lighting and beginning to use the node editor to um, create some nice looking rendered photorealistic scenes. In the next tutorial, we'll be continuing along with some more of this. Um, I'll be showing you how to use the particle um, emissions in Blender to create some bubbles here inside of our liquid. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.